Scott Savage here at Cascada Golf Club with Daniel Buzgun and Brent Roberts. They are WPT Champions Cup finalists. So I think it's pretty obvious who the better golfer is between Brent and Daniel. Daniel seems to be a great golfer and Brent plays golf. Um, but I don't know who the better poker player is. So between these two guys, we're going to see who can take down the uh, title. Uh, one playing for the Gardens, one playing for Borgata title, and that elusive, exclusive club of WPT champion. Woo! Wow. I wish mine looked like that. That was awesome. So Daniel, you're obviously a great golfer. What's your background in golf? Uh, I started playing at a young age, probably 10 or so, and just was fortunate to have a lot of friends who we all picked it up at the same time. We would play every day in the summer. And then that was kind of my major in college, went to Arizona State for professional golf management, because I didn't know what else I really wanted to study. Graduated from there, but never really uh, looked for a job in the industry, and just kind of got into poker, and luckily that's Poker's given me a lot of opportunity to play a lot of golf, so it's been... Uh... Yeah, it's kind of a lifestyle for sure that uh, a lot of golfers take. What is the, um, you know, the competitiveness in golf versus, in, you know, poker? Do you see any... It's, it's so similar. It's so similar because both of them, it's you against a lot... They're both individual games, and but you're also playing against a lot of people, but you're also playing against yourself, just like poker. You know, each decision you make is... It's all on you. All the onus is on you, just like in golf. You know, what club you hit, what, where you aim, everything like that. It's all on you. And the competitiveness is just the aspect of it where it's just why I enjoy both of them, I guess, because you can still compete, you know, for basically your whole life or the majority of your life where in other sports and stuff, you just can't do that. So it's it, poker is a, or golf is a great complement to poker just because poker, you're kind of inside all day with people you kind of don't know you kind of don't want to be around because they're not the friendliest bunch for the most part especially in tournaments right. and in golf you're outside and you're with people you generally do like so it's a nice compliment all right they I go very I'm, well together i think i'm up two already so let's see uh, let's see how all right <laughs> <laughs> so your golf game probably not as good as your poker game would you say that it's true uh, it's, a, it's a distant second we'll, we'll say but you get out here for the enjoyment of it, right? Exactly. I mean, it's yeah. a great way to get out of the poker room and uh, get out on the golf course. The last time I was competitive on the golf course was probably five years ago, and I still wasn't very good. So I just gave up, gave it up as a uh, you know competitive sport and just made it a fun hobby. Exactly. Oh, sure. But I mean, I can still think you know, still think you got some talent. No, thanks. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to get some lessons if I want to get better, which I've never done. Maybe, maybe one day, but I like uh, I like tennis and racquetball probably better. I just like the the physical sports a little bit more. Sure. You know, golf is, you know, I'm going to probably be sore after today. So I'm almost certain of it. <laughs> Your table's pretty wild there at the garden. Yeah. Right? You've got a couple of players that are a little, uh, I don't know what you call them, loose cannons. Yeah, we have Frank who is blind raising with like nine left and seven left. He literally blind raised into the gun and then called in all in with nine four up suit for like you know seven blinds to the straddle so it was like it was like 15 blinds with without the straddle yeah he's just gambling it up it'll be a good time he's having a good time that's for sure i think yeah. he said he was going to buy drinks for the entire arena uh he was doing awesome. that there at the garden so i mean i know he's having a good time at least the good news brent is after your final table you can afford putting <laughs> Daniel Buzgun for Eagle here, for five. Ah, no! Nice. Daniel Buzgun for par, for Berkey, then par. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Savage just doesn't miss. He's a ringer. How's he tournament there? He just spends all his time golfing. <laughs> Dan, I know you're a great golfer. Have you ever considered being a pro? <laughs> no. <laughs> Short answer, no. I, uh, I'd, I'd rather do this in my spare time. And Brad? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe for never, no. Not, not even one second, but it's it's a fun hobby, yes. Rebecca, we're about even right now. I think I have won three, you won three, and you won two. So on the ninth hole, let's go get them. Let's get them. All right. We gotta get 5X stinks right now. <laughs> Yeah.
Good shot. Really good. Go. Sit. What a shot. There's not a pro on earth that could hit a shot that good. Decision. Toby just tweeted me, by the way. I saw his body. Yeah. Why did I finish seventh? He wanted to be out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna. He didn't know he was that big a bubble. Yeah, he didn't know he was that big a bubble. That might stop. Maybe. It stopped. Terrible. All right, great weather, great day, good friends. I think Dan got the money, but I look forward to seeing you guys winning a lot more money at the HyperX Esports Arena. Good luck, guys. Thank Thanks, you very much. Man. Just sign up at clubwpt.com and get the game.